Welcome back. In this episode, the girls will be going through a revitalizing yet transformational treatment. The girls will also be tasked to complete a body analysis at gym and tonic. Finally, to prep them for the grand stage, the girls will be going through a vocal projection course at Lee Wei Song School of Music. I am Hashina and this is Miss Singapore TV Reveals 2016. in for a treat here at Yaksan House, Singapore. The girls will be trying out the signature Golki Therapy. Let's go check them out! Hi, today um, I visited Yaksan at Block Place for my face treatment and they recommended to me the small face care treatment which involves a non-surgical and non-invasive procedure to help me achieve a V-shaped face. I was very excited to receive the treatment from Yakson because for a very long time I felt um, very insecure because I've always felt that my, my face size was unproportionate. I always felt that the right side of my face was slightly bigger than the left and the jawline was pretty uneven so um, this treatment allowed me to achieve a V-shaped face and a more defined neckline which I'm very happy about. When I entered Yakson, I thought they had a very nice ambience, the smell was very good and it was a very refreshing decoration. The therapist that attended to my face, she was very friendly and she was very attentive. And I liked the changing room especially because it was very clean and hygienic. Um, so for the treatment, she started out by doing a cleanse on my face to remove any makeup. She proceeded to um, massage my face while applying um, massaging cream and I think that helped to um, make my face more easier to massage I assume. After that she started to put the face mask on my face so I had to leave the mask on for about 20 minutes and I really like the mask because it doesn't have a strange smell and it was very refreshing and very cooling to my face and I, I waited for 20 minutes for it to dry and while waiting I actually almost fell asleep. <laughs> then um, after that, the therapist came in and she removed the mask. The mask was actually used as a mold so that I can see a significant difference in the before and after structure of my face. And after that, she proceeded to do the gawky therapy on my face. On a scale of 1 to 10, I will rate the pain level, pain tolerance level about a 5. Yeah, because it's it's very pain but it's very very bearable Be because I know that it's kind of like braces you have to wear it and it's very painful but after that you achieve the ideal results at the end of the day so I believe that this treatment has worked because after the treatment my face has become much tighter and firmer and also much more radiant I believe that Yakson should choose me to represent their brand because I can resonate with their vision and their mission of using the most natural way to achieve the ideal face shape and face size because I feel that it's not good to go under the knife unless it's really necessary. Today I'm here at Yakson doing my face sculpting care treatment. The first thing they do for my face is that cleansing, okay no, they remove my makeup then after that, they do cleansing, facial foam Then after that, they put some mask, then they put some oil and massage I thought, oh, the massage wasn't that painful after all initially It's like so comfortable Then they put a lot of, um, ma they put mask on my face I couldn't really see because they covered my eyes So, uh, the first layer of the mask smell like yogurt Makes me so hungry, oh my god Then the second layer smell like mint I feel like, oh, my face is so cooling and so chill, it's very minty. So they make the mask according to my face shape. I think after that, they peel it off. And uh, after that, I felt like, whoa, my world has brightened up again. <laughs> I felt like a mummy. Then afterwards, 
She cleaned my face after the mask and everything. She said, the real thing starts now. The, they started out with the Goki therapy on my face. The Goki therapy is like a massage on my bone. I felt like someone is breaking my bone, but it's not that pain, of course. She pressed here, like on my bone here. Then after that, she pressed here, this side. I think she's trying to help me remove wrinkles or something. Then I feel, I feel like she has butterfly fingers because her fingers go so fast and she's like playing piano or like butterfly wings, you know. It's so fast and it's really, really comfortable. It's, it doesn't hurt. I believe Yaksen Singapore should choose me as, as their ambassador because I have Crohn's disease and I've been taking steroids. And I, every time I take steroids, right, my facial features tends to change and gets a little bit bloated moon face. It's one of their side effects. So I think I need the treatment to maintain this kind of face, <laughs> to maintain a beautiful face. Anyone, everyone wants a beautiful face, but it's just that some people prefer going for surgery and some people going, prefer going for this kind of natural therapy. So for me, I like this kind of natural kind of thing. Hi, I'm here at Yaksan House Singapore today for my stress care massage. Um, I'm very lucky to be here because um, I've been very stressed over pageant and have a lot of body aches. So I had a back massage today and it's the first time I'm doing a Korean massage. And what they do actually, they massage my head, my back, my neck and um, my arms. Yeah, to release stress. And they actually um, massage the bone instead of muscle. So it's not like the conventional massages. And this helps to help to make your back look nicer, like have a very beautiful back, a straight back and make it more balanced. Yeah. So after the massage I feel um after she she actually did like some pressure points which really instantly make my back feel like wow like, so stress-free. <laughs> yeah, like instantly relax. Okay, when I first came into Yakson, the place um is very luxurious because it's at We Love and it's where all the luxurious um uh, surgery centers are at also and I feel that um, I really like that it's a natural way of um, like having a V-line having a better body instead of going for surgery and it's permanent unlike surgeries and there's no downtime so um, I really like those natural remedies I hope like I can be the ambassador because I also want to achieve a V-line my face um, it's a bit on the bigger side because my body is a bit petite so I hope that being an ambassador we can also make my face smaller, achieve the look and show that it really works. Hi, my name is Ray from Gym and Tonic. We had the girls who are the pageant contestant finalists come in today to do their body analysis. As part of that, we went through and we tested where their body fat levels are, we looked at their muscle tone, but we also assessed their strength, their upper body strength, their core strength and their lower body strength. So we did some really simple tests that were safe for them. Uh, we did a push-up test to do their upper body strength test. We did a plank test to test the core. And we did a squat test to see how the squats are. Um, most of the girls did really, really well. And we also did the same test for them four to six weeks ago, checking their body fat, checking their strengths. Give us the benchmark, see how they've changed over the four to six weeks. All of them did really well. It's a pleasure to work with them, and we wish them the very best for the rest of the pageant. Today we are at uh, we are here at Gym and Tonic to go through the post, uh, strength test and also skin analysis to see how much we have progressed since the beginning. So overall, I've lost a bit of weight as well as gained a bit of muscle. My measurements are I'm pretty satisfied with it. For the body analysis, um, I lost quite a bit of weight and uh, about two and a half kg, which was actually quite an improvement for me because it's quite difficult to lose weight for me. So today I'm here at Gym and Tonic to do my body analysis test and after that we, uh, I did a few of the strength tests. For my body analysis test, I actually lost 1kg so it was very satisfying also because previously I was a bit flabby <laughs> especially in my tummy area so that's an achievement for me. And then as for the strength test, we did uh, push-ups and uh, some squats. So just now when I did the push-ups, I was actually quite weak, so I was quite I was shaking. So I went down and I couldn't come up, I was stuck there. Uh, I think it's because of my uh, upper body strength, so we suggested that I could work on that even more. 
but then uh, as for my squats, I think my uh, posture improved and overall I think I'm very satisfied of my achievement. Yeah. We are at Gym and Tonic! Today we will uh, we're having a session here at the Wichon School of Music with all the contestants of Miss Singapore uh, Beauty Pageant 2016. But today we're gonna share um, I, I'm gonna share with them some uh, vocal tips of how to make their voice uh, when they speak and uh, give their introduction, make their voice sound more calm, engaging and uh, speak with more confidence. This is Liu Wichon School of Music. My name is Jay, and then uh, right now I'm the principal of the school. Uh, managing, um, uh, managing and teaching at the same time. For today, we'll do a little bit of a voice training. Voice things like how, how you can manipulate your voice tone. I think one of the one of the big um, initiative uh, motivation to like give them uh, this training is actually uh, I, I do believe that uh, as Miss uh, Singapore contestant, uh, they have a very bright future in, in ahead of them. Whether they are in in the event, they will actually be a title winner or not, um, they actually will have a lot of a chance to use their voice um, to project themselves as a person, whether as a presenter, uh, even in their work they could be giving presentation or one, one, who knows one day they could be uh, taking part in uh, video production that actually would require them to use their voice in a more expressive and convincing way. Now, can everybody read this for me? Ready? One, two, three. I should wear that dress. Well, we went through some uh, vocal technique, like how to, con how to control your breath, uh, how to increase the dynamic of your voice such that you can speak with high and low and not speak with a monotone. And of course, uh, during which uh, uh, we also wish uh, tell them that Sometimes it's the words, sometimes it's not the words that they say, but the, the way that they express themselves that can actually change um, how people perceive of them as a person. So I think the lips, will, the, the cheek don't puff up, don't puff up. Okay, one, just a short part. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> On the chest. Do a little bit. Wow. <laughs> one, two, three. Mike, Mike, right? You do realize that while I'm talking, right? I'm keeping my really, really close to the mic. No, 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 it's all electronics. The one thing is like the further you are from the mic, right? Unfortunately, the more maybe sometimes you're stressed or you're nervous and you can't like you know you feel like the mic, right? The further you are, and it's not further. Like I'll just go from here. And this is usually how I use the mic to talk. It is practically touching and uh, you could just hear I could, if I continue I could continue saying the same thing 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 during the pageant uh, talent round some of you all um, if you look among and you see enough uh, pageant shows or even self introduction some of you all will be you come up maybe the mic is too high then you start to stretch like a giraffe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you will look really weird. Or if you're really tall, you hunch like an old grandmother. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And you look very ugly, especially when you pose like that. <laughs> it's really very ugly. If really, there are situations whereby the mic stand is right in the middle and you're supposed to stand in a T and you can't. Just move a little bit, shift the mic to your side and adjust before you start to speak. Three, two, one.
Come up and then race one more time. I think that it is a very fruitful one. I get to meet a lot of new friends and it was a very wonderful experience for me. Our contestants would hashtag Miss Singapore videos to reveal about all their past journeys to like Goat Farm. We have been to Goat Farm and even Bintan. Being a finalist is not, it's not that easy. You have to go through a lot of processes. Till next time, see ya! Hi everyone, my name is Divya and I'm one of the finalists in this year's Miss Singapore Beauty Pageant. As we know, beauty pageants are much more than glitz and glamour. In this year's Miss Singapore Beauty Pageant, it's much more than beauty from the surface, but it's, it involves beauty from within too. If you follow us on Instagram, you will have noticed that we have a common hashtag, hashtag Miss Singapore Reviews. Basically, it reveals the daily life of the girls and the ups and downs we face through this journey. For the past 10 seasons of Miss Singapore Review, I have learned so much and met so many interesting new people. I can't wait to meet the next finalist for next year's Miss Singapore Beauty Pageant 2017. Till the next time guys, see you! That's it for today. Do catch us on the next episode of Miss Singapore TV Reveals for the Grand Finals of the Miss Singapore Beauty Pageant 2016. I'm Hashina. See ya!